Hey guys, this is the day when Whoa. everybody does walk out, so I'm gonna be out. Hey so we're gonna work. Very funny. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm making a video about about this walkout. And I'm sending pictures to my mom. Yeah. This walkout's important. It's about the school shooting that happened in Florida. Seventeen people died. Yeah. Seven people. Seventeen people Karina. died. Wait, Karina's going to and we are going to do a moment of silence. So see you guys at the courtyard. We're now in the midst of a walkout. Walking to school. Being out here for fifteen for seventeen minutes because of the death of 17 people. It's, it's, it's like the whole school is out here. Wow. This did this thing did affect uh, this thing affects everybody. Yeah, this thing affects everybody in high school. You can tell by that there's a huge crowd. That I'm in a huge crowd of people, and there's a huge crowd of people up ahead of me. No. So this thing is really important. Really important. We're doing the so, walkout. Get it right. Any of this? We're doing the walkout. Yeah, we're doing the walkout. Look at all these people behind us. Oh, I don't want to. Mom, game. Damn it. But. But we are not going to be disrespectful to the people who were who got something done to them at place. Oh man. They put a barrier up so nobody leaves the campus, so, yeah. I'm gonna stick with my friends. I'm gonna flip you guys over. Once we wear out some of these faces, but Hey, that was pretty intense. But I'm going to be going on to a camera soon so I can actually do, so I can actually talk about how the experience was with the walkout. Yep! They said YouTuber, huh? And I said, yeah, I am a YouTuber. What? But that was, that, that gave me a life lesson. You only live one. That you only live one, once, and that school shooting and gun violence really needs to stop. It's good all to have a firearm, but not so good when it causes stuff like this. So, try to. So, if you guys want to write something, try to be a little bit different than what those people were. Try being yourself. And if no one likes for that, just it just think that this happened. Hey. Well, this event was pretty good. I was gonna see a life lesson, but I forgot it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I am going to swap to myself on a cam on an actual camera with. 
talking about the events that happened. Okay, what did you think of the events of the walkouts, Howard? Uh, I was very much pro the students walking out if they wanted to demonstrate their solidarity with the students from, I believe it's Parkdale in Florida. Um, from what everything I heard, it was a peaceful and respectful demonstration of their support for the uh, students in Florida and in honor of those 70 people who lost their lives. Okay, and how would it affect you if it happened here? Gosh, um, it's hard to say because it's hard to say how it would affect me here if it happened in Hudson's Bay. I would hope that I would be courageous enough to help my students and get them out of here, uh, protect them as, to the best of my ability. Okay. Um, that's it. <laughs> okay. So what effect has this had on you? Uh, the effect it's had on me is even though I am a gun owner and I own several, I do believe that we do not need the weapons of war that this young man used and other people have used in the mass shootings. We don't need semi-automatic weapons. I'm pretty sure that the founding fathers who had muzzle-loading flintlock rifles would know nothing about what the weapons are today and probably would not have approved it. Okay, what do you think about the whole teachers carrying guns today? Uh, personally, I would not carry a gun as a teacher. My job, and the reason I'm hired, is to be a teacher, not to carry a weapon. If I was forced to do it, I would demand double pay. I want to be paid as a teacher and as a security guard. Hmm. They couldn't afford me. Okay, Ms. Hart, that is all I have for you. Okay. Alrighty guys, this is known as, this guy is known as the Mystery Man, another YouTuber that we have here, and he is giving us his opinion on what happened. Go ahead, Mr. Man. Well, it's a terrible thing what happened, you know, down in Florida. Uh I didn't know any of those 17 kids, but they certainly did not deserve to die at such a, at such a young age. As for our school shooter, whoever it is, um, they most certainly should be locked up. You know, I don't know for how long, several years, obviously. I just don't know how many years exactly. I'm not a judge, I can't determine that. But, I don't know too much about what happened. I'm not somebody who, who watches the news very often. You know, most of what I know is word of mouth. So I don't know the exact identity of the shooter or the victims or anything like that. But for the families of the victims, I give my deepest condolences for for the children, you know, the, the teenagers, whatever you want to call them. And for those who were injured, my condolences to them as well. And, you know, I, I know that people don't, well, people would probably want me to say things like, that, that person should be locked up for the rest of their life, or, oh, oh my god, I can't believe this happened. But, I'm not. And the reason why I'm not is because I can believe this happened. You know, because this happens a lot, far more than it should. You know, even if we don't hear about it. And I'm sure that some people at home would be wondering, well, what's your stance on gun control? I think that you know, gun control should be you know, amped up a bit, so to speak. Um, we, we, we don't need semi-automatic weapons in the hands of frickin' teenagers who have so many hormones running through their brain 
that they can't properly control their emotions. You know, and I should I should know, right? I'm I'm still one of them. But yeah, we don't we don't need stuff like assault rifles and and whatnot in the hands of the public. You know, even you know, even though it's not something we typically associate with the term, uh, assault rifles are weapons of war. They that is what they are. Okay. And so stuff like pistols and handguns and you know, maybe you know, maybe shotguns as well. That's that stuff's fine. But semi-automatics like assault rifles, that's something the public doesn't need to have in their hands. That's too much power for the average person to hold. That is power that should be left to, to the hands of a soldier. Nothing more. Okay. So what do you think about this whole teachers possibly carrying guns? It's a freaking stupid idea. I mean, like, like the way I think of it, well, one way I think of it anyway, is like this. Say you got a teacher who's horribly overworked, horribly overstressed, and has no time to wind down and relieve such stress. What's going to happen? They're eventually going to frickin' snap. And it's happened before. Pe you know, teachers have snapped... Uh, in classrooms before. You know, they've snapped on their students before. And if you have a teacher freaking snapping and they've got access to a to a gun, that entire classroom is gonna be riddled with holes by the, by the time that guy's gone. Or girl, or whatever. You know, and even if that never happens, right? Even if something like that never happens, it's a stupid idea regardless. Because, you know, the idea would be to make the students feel safer and make the teachers feel safer, when really, they're just going to feel more in danger than they normally would right now. Yeah, of course. Uh, like, I don't, I don't know a whole lot about this stuff. You know, again, I'm not somebody who watches the news very often. I don't, you know, really look into political issues and everything very often. So my, my knowledge is kind of limited. But if you ask me, allowing, you know, having teachers be armed is a stupid idea. It put, you know, it puts the schools, it would put the schools in far more risk than they're already in now. And so... You know, because, like, if a teacher snaps or, or God, God forbid, a student who would become a school shooter gets a hold of the teacher's gun, then that's, that's going to be a horrible situation. You know, if you ask me, I think that if teachers were allowed to have guns, school shootings would happen way more often than they do, than they do now. It, it's a stupid idea, and... I'm really hoping our government just I'm really hoping our government isn't stupid enough to you know allow something like that. You know, I hope they actually sit down and take the time to think about the consequences of this. Okay. So So you think that it's a bad idea? Yes, I think it's a horrible idea. Okay. What do you think that... What do you think that they should do to stop kids from buying guns? Like, kids from buying real guns, not Nerf guns. What to do to stop kids from buying guns? You know, most people would probably say to... Uh, increase the min the minimum age required to be able to legally buy a gun, and I you know, and I would say that as well. 
but you know the, th the problem I have with that solution is when a, when humans want something, they will take whatever course of action that they have to to obtain it. If a kid wants a gun, they're going to do every, everything in their power to get it. Hmm. And, and if they're smart enough, they're going to be able to cheat the system and, you know, and get the gun regardless of what the minimum legal age to own a gun is. If they want it bad enough, they'll find a way to cheat the system and get it. Yeah. And that's, and that's something that's really hard to control for is... <laughs> the extent of humans, of a human desire. You know, be it for material possession, for, you know, for the feeling of an emotion like happiness, for a family, or whatever. If a person wants it bad enough, they will do whatever it takes to get it. Okay. That is enough time for you, and we will... I will make sure to keep in contact with you if we need a little bit more interviews or we can do a crossover or something in the future. All right, I'll, I'll definitely be sure to, uh, to uh, stay in touch. All right, see you later. So, Mr. Game Burner, is it? Yeah. Tell me, what do you think of the whole walkout that happened for the Florida school shooting? Well, I was part of the walkout for the school, for about the school shooting, and it was really emotional. Everybody was just stand, everybody was standing, unite, basically united, it was like a whole group looking towards what happened. Okay. Uh, do you think that the message the walkout tried to convey was understood? Yes, except for some people who were just looking on their phone and stuff. I was tr I was just going, I basically used my phone for good and took photos of this and, and stuff and posted it on social media and tried to post it on social media so people will know what's going on. What effect do you hope the walkout to have on our country? Well, I hope that this walkout can actually help us out in many ways, like, make it so the person who did the school shooting can be brought to, ju brought to justice, and also to have everybody that was affected by the school shooting to be helped. Alright. Are there any long-term effects for the people at large and our country as a whole? that you want to see happen to prevent something like this from happening again. Sure. Given how I'm a high school student and stuff, it's hard for me to understand, it's hard, sometimes hard for me to understand about the school shooting stuff. But this school shooting was so terrible for everybody that we all had, we all had to, we all have to make our sacrifices of it's from leaving class and doing the walk doing a walkout for 17 minutes if you if doing a walkout for 17 minutes means the world will change just do it it will make it so everything is good all right well we thank you for your time mr gamburner uh we hope to be speaking with you again soon yeah and please look out and please watch for my gamer and adventure adventure videos and stuff. They will be coming out soon. But we, but please, if you guys want, go help the people who were at that school. They were shot. That was shot up in Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys saw how powerful it is to have everybody join up in a group and have 15 minutes of silence even though this video I mean 17 minutes of silence giving how it's hard to understand 
from a possibly adult standpoint or something like that. But a high school standpoint, it's easy to understand. If that happened here, I would possibly be the I'd possibly be someone who would help everybody out. Possibly would have gotten a few bullets put in me, but I would at least be something like a shield, protect protecting people. Human shield. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have for today, Mr. Game Partner. Yeah. Thank you for coming on and speaking with us. Yep. We hope to see you again soon. Yep. Good, sir. See you in the next dimension of the world, Veronica.